remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? While delivering the keynote address for the Nation of Islam Savior's Day 2020 convention Sunday in Detroit, Minister Louis Farrakhan defended Snoop Dogg's initial reaction to Gayle King's interview with Lisa Leslie. In an Instagram video, Snoop cussed out Gayle King and called her the B-word several times after asking Lisa to comment about Kobe's 2003 rape accusation. Defending Snoop, Farrakhan said Sunday, My brother Snoop was angry with you because what you did was so unnecessary. Addressing Gail directly, Farrakhan continued, You are my sister. I love you and I admire the good that you've done. But you were being used on that day to besmirch the memory of a good man, Gail. Farrakhan also spoke on how Gail King defended her colleague at CBS, Charlie Rose, after he was accused of sexual assault. He also said that to the black people out there who are in privileged position with white folks, do not allow them to use you. Farrakhan stated he defends the good that Gail King has done. And he also sent out a loud message to black folks who are in privileged positions with white folks. He said, do not let them use you. He also said that he defends Snoop's anger. He defends Snoop's rebuke. And he defends Snoop's speech, which received a major applause. He did say, however, that he does not approve of any man calling a woman, black or white, the B word. But he did add this. He said, the Quran says, when somebody feels hurt and they use hurtful speech, hurtful speech is justified and we are hurt. I can't disagree with that. When someone is hurt, that's what I said all along. If if you hurt somebody, you really can't determine how they're supposed to respond to that hurt. It's like if you hit somebody and they pull out a gun and shoot you. Somebody says, well, well he didn't have to shoot him. Uh, he didn't have to hit him. You can't respond or you can't control how somebody is going to react when you offend them. You dig what I'm saying? Gail created this mess. She started all of this. Farrakhan even prayed for Gail King. He told her, I pray that you regain your sense of commitment to your people from which you came. He went on to say that you can regain your place with us if you repent and apologize. What do y'all think about that? Repenting and apologizing is a good start. But I don't believe that Gail King can ever regain her sense of commitment to her people from which she came. Because in order to regain something, you would have to have possessed it at some point in time. And I don't think that's the case with Gail King. No more talk. What the haters talking about?